Hey guys, what's up? So for this part of the video tutorial series, we're going to be looking at your slicer. Um, it's very important to know what this is so that you have a better understanding of how to build your um, 3D prints in your 3D printer. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so infill is the filling inside the print. It's to help further strengthen the, solid the solidity of the object. You can go from 0% infill to 100% infill, or anywhere in between. So the lower the infill, the faster the print, but weaker in strength, and vice versa. So let's look at a 0% infill. Okay, the way we do that is we adjust this bar right here, or we can put in a number in infill. So infill percentage is 0 right now. We can put 40 or whatnot. So we're going to stick with 0. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. As you can see, there's nothing. It's completely hollow inside the prostate. All right, so we're going to go back and exit. We're going to go back to process. And we're going to go back to infill. And this time, let's show you a 10% infill. I'm just going to slide the bar to 10%. I'm going to do, prepare to print. And we're going to hit play. You can see now that there's stuff inside. Look at that. It's got that, um, it looks like a waffle in the inside. Okay. Now let me show you a thicker infill. Let's go to, let's go to 40. A nice, nice good amount of infill. I'm going to click prepare to print again. So this prepare to print thing is great because it shows you what it's going to look like as it prints it. It's going to do like a a print preview if you will. Okay, so we're going to hit play. As you can see there's a lot more infill there now. It's 40 percent which means 40 percent of this entire cavity is filled and evenly spilled out with with plastic. It really really makes it strong. Okay, look there's a lot more filling in there. Alright, so that is infill. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scale the snowman. I think that's a little small. I want it to be a little bigger. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my tools right here on the right hand side and I'm going to select this one, which is scale models. And now I can just click and drag to make the model as big or as small as I want it to be. Um, that looks like about the size that I want it to be right there. That looks pretty good. I like that. So the first setting that I'm going to mess with is going to be the layers right here. So we're going to go to process and we're going to go to layers. Now layers are the tiny little layers that are uh, laid down by the extruder. Okay. In here, the higher the number, the lower the resolution. Why? Because the thicker the layer, the less resolution you're going to get. That means it's not as fine, right? So if I made this a four, a 0.4 millimeter layer height, it's going, it's, it's going to have a lot of bumps as compared to 0.2 millimeter layer height, which is what I normally print at. It becomes a lot finer. Okay. Now these the top solid layers are basically the cover, the top, very, very top. And then the bottom solid layers are the very, very bottom. So think of a can, and the this number right here would be the bottom of the can, and this would be the top of the can, the cover. Okay? So that right there is the layer setting. One thing I forgot to tell you was that the higher the resolution, the slower the print, but higher quality. The lower the resolution, it's going to print a lot faster, but the quality suffers. So it's really all up to you the way you want to do the, the print. You want it to print fast and do a lot of post-processing, or do you want to do it slower and do less post-processing? Again, it's totally up to you. Next, we're going to talk about perimeter, or the shells. These are the walls of the object. So the higher the number here, the thicker the walls of the print are going to be, and they'll be stronger too. 
So let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you a one thickness and we're going to show you what it looks like. We're going to hit OK, we're going to prepare to print. And now what it does is it shows me a preview of what the print's going to look like. All right. So I'm going to just press play here. All right, I'm going to stop it. As you can see, it's a very, very thin wall for Frosty's body. Okay. So I'm going to go back and exit and we're going to change that now to a five. We're going to hit prepare to print again. And then we'll press play. As you can see now, it's a lot thicker for the exterior or the walls of Frosty's body. It's a lot more, it's a lot stronger now. You see that? So that's perimeter. That's perimeter shells. So supports are easy to remove parts that help the printer build parts with overhangs. Normally these are used for parts that have 45 degrees or more that are just hanging in midair, like the arms on our snowman. It's easy enough to put supports, very, very easy. All I do is I click this button right here and it generates some automatic supports and it'll generate supports for our, our snowman. Now what I can also do here is I can remove existing supports I don't feel like these should be there, or maybe it should be. And I can add existing supports. So you see Frosty's arm right here is just hanging in midair. Now if this printer was to print that, it's going to just give me spaghetti and it's just going to extrude, um, extrude uh, plastic there without having anything to hold it up. So that's what supports are for. So I can put supports under there to help when we print this piece. So now we can have Frosty have his arm. And then we can generate automatic supports. It's going to take that out again. I decided to go ahead and leave these supports for the hat just in case. So let me add these support structures again. just so that Frosty has an arm and he doesn't, you know, not have it. <laughs> okay. Super easy to add these and done. Now you can add these in your process as well. So make sure you go in here and you click this button or this selection right here to generate support. Um, I'm going to print this at 10% infill. All right. Now, before you print, you want to make sure that all of your stuff is all ready to go. So we're going to do that in the next video. And that's it, you guys. So those are the things that you need to worry about um, and really think through in your printing. Um, so it's really important, important that you understand your slicer. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and cut the thigh piece and put them on the build plate and we're going to start printing. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like this tutorial series, let me know down in the comments if you guys, there's anything that you uh, want me to go over some more. And then we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Also, you guys, don't forget to join us in our Facebook group called 3D Printed Armor. I'll put a link down below right there so you guys can come join us. We post all our armor, um, all the stuff that I've made, all the stuff that other people have made. So join us there. Um, forgot to add this, so I'll see you guys there. Peace.